guys what's up it's Rachel and welcome back to another video so today I'm going to be showing you guys all the things inside this big old bag from Plato's Closet so they ran their I guess quarterly seasonally I'm not sure how often they do it they do it a few times a year um 90 percent off clearance sale so they're trying to move a bunch of things out so they can bring a bunch of new things in and i always hit these sales every single time i follow my local plato's closet uh instagram and they always announce it there so i'm always the first one there ready to attack the sale and get a bunch of things so here is my receipt I paid $29.77. So let's go ahead and jump in and see what I got. Okay, so the first thing that I have here is by the brand Altered State. I tend to load up on this brand at Plato's Closet sales because they do take a lot of it and this brand does do well for me. It's a really great bread and butter brand for me. Um, it's kind of this greeny teal type color. It kind of looks a little denim-y when you get up close. I don't know if you can tell. But it also has this cool like tie back detail. Um, this ended up being a dollar and ten cents. So can't go wrong with that. This next item is actually just by the brand Gap. And I do pick Gap up sometimes. This was only 80 cents. Um, it's kind of this floral peasant style blouse. It has a little bit of a flutter sleeve going on. It's really pretty and it is a size large. I do tend to pick up Gap in bigger sizes like large, extra large, and plus size. It does sell for me. Um, probably, I don't know, about $15 for this, but people do like Gap and they do seek it out. Next, this is by the brand J. Crew, And... It's actually kind of new with tags, like the tags all messed up. Um, so I, I don't know, I'll include that in my description. But this was also a dollar and 10 cents. It's just this top, it has these uh, tweed sleeves going on with it and this zipper back detail. Probably get like $20 for this one. And here is another type of brand that a lot of people don't pick up, but I do pick up depending on style. It's Old Navy. So obviously Old Navy doesn't retail for a lot, but this is an extra large. So in its cute style, we have summer coming up. I figured this would be perfect for, you know, any type of summer style. And with it being an extra large, I won't pick up Old Navy and like extra small smalls or even mediums. But when it's this cheap and it's an extra large, I know I can flip it for like $15, just like the Gap piece. Next up, we have ASOS. And I do like selling this brand. I don't find it very often. This was $1.60. And it's this floral flutter sleeve uh, maxi dress. And it's actually also a wrap style. You can see there's a lot going on here, but it's a wrap dress. Next up, we have the brand Meadow Rue, which is sold at Anthropology, And I thought this was so fun. It's like a lime green, bright yellow floral top. I just thought this was really trendy. I know people really like neons right now. And I just thought this would be really cute. And this brand does do well for me. Next up, we have Beach Lunch Lounge. And I do like this brand. I am a little bit more selective on it, but I did see this item for 80 cents and I couldn't pass up on it. And I really liked the colors, the cuff sleeve. It just seemed like a perfect, again, summertime, springtime type piece. All right, this next one is Free People. And this looks like definitely an older Free People tag, but it's just this burgundy peasant style blouse. It has kind of a lace trim along the bottom. Definitely reminds me of some of the intimately free people type stuff. Um, so it has a little bit of wear on it. So I'm expecting about 15 to $20. And we have the brand Joe Fresh. Another brand I'm pretty selective on. I did grab this due to style. It has a high low hem. It's very lightweight, really nice for this time of year. 
Then we just have a basic Tory top. It's just a tank top, probably about $10 on this one if I had to guess. And it was uh, 60 cents. This is the brand Postmark, uh, again, sold at Anthropology. It's like a mint color. It has this like chenille type fabric at the bottom, high low hem, just a super cute top. And this one is just really fun. Um, it's just Victoria's Secret. And it's like a sleep shirt, sleep gown. It gives me a lot of like a retro vibes to it. It has this cool embellishment along the neckline, just that gold right there. This will probably be again like $15 to $20. Then we have American Eagle. And this can be worn off the shoulder or on the shoulder. It's just a floral, flowy blouse, very bohemian. Then we have a pair of Nike shorts. These are just a pair of orange shorts and they are, let's see, they're size extra, extra large, which is great. Um, I don't find that much plus size Nike. So when I saw these, I thought these were a definite have to get. They were $1.40. And this is the brand Lucky Brand. It's a burnout style gray top. It has this really cool sleeve going on with it. Just a bread and butter item. Then we have another pair of XXL Nikes. These are in a little bit more of a khaki color. They definitely feel more like an outdoorsy hiking type thing versus um, like a workout short. Okay, and then we have another uh, Free People item. I thought this was so pretty. Um, it's kind of a crop top. It has this tribal embellishment going on in the front. And then in the back, it has a scoop back. I love Free People. Now, not all of it is, you know, the same. Definitely some of it does sit. But I do just love the brand personally, and I love selling it. I've noticed it brings a lot of attention to my closet, so I like to keep well-stocked in free people when I can. Then we have Bordeaux, which I've never actually found this brand. I've heard mixed things, but mainly good things about it. And this is like a mustard-colored button front blouse. Um, it has like a little bit of a linen sleeve going on here. And it just felt like a really high quality, good piece. So I figured might as well try the brand out and see how it is for me. Then we have the brand uh, BP. And that is a Nordstrom house brand. I don't always pick it up again. I feel like I say that every time, but it was only 80 cents and it was this burnout um, army green color. This is just a basic tee. I don't really know why I got it to be completely honest with you. I probably wouldn't have now, but I feel like the pressure's kind of on while you're in there. But I'll still sell this for probably like 10 bucks. It might end up in someone's bundle at some point. So I'll definitely sell it, but I don't know. I probably shouldn't have gotten that one. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Um, this is uh, the brand Airy. And I do really like selling this brand and I like finding it. I like it for myself. I just really like this brand a lot. And it's just this floral lace little slip dress. I absolutely love it. I was going to keep it for myself, but it didn't quite fit the way that I wanted it to. So I am definitely going to be selling that one. And then last but certainly not least, we have a We The Free Burnout t-shirt. It's definitely oversized, has the high-low hem going on with it. And I do sell We The Free pretty frequently. It is something that, again, brings a lot of attention to my closet and I do like selling it. This will probably be like $15 if I had to guess, but I do like stocking up on those bread and butter items when I hit these big sales like this. And yeah, that's... That's pretty much it. I know there wasn't anything super insane, super great, but I did get a lot of great bread and butter items, things that I'm going to sell for that $15 to $20 mark, and I am totally okay with that. I am a high quantity seller. I list a lot, and I sell a lot. So the quantity makes up for it, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Last a little longer. Do you remember when we were much?
much better I wish we could go back to when we went Singing in the rain, we won't fight We'll be swinging from street lights I wish we could go back to when we went Singing in the rain